Michaels is recalling a keychain over fire and a burn risk, and Houston Metro wants to help you get to Game 7 of the World Series for free. Consumer expert Amy Davis is here helping you out tonight. What's yeah, up? Yeah, it is going to be crowded around downtown. Yeah. And so, you know, the challenge was, hey, find the cheapest way to get there. If you don't have to be there, don't. I'm just kidding. But if you've got a <laughs> ticket, Metro's trying to help by giving free rides to people with tickets to tonight's Game 7 of the World Series. So they're encouraging fans to use the light rail to get to the stadium. You could consider parking near the Metro Rail red line and then taking the train to the game. The closest stop is just two blocks north to Minute Maid Park. It doesn't drop you off right there at the park. Um, that's the Convention District Station. Of course, Uber and Lyft are also popular options. Beware of surge pricing. We haven't heard a whole lot of complaints in this whole postseason, but especially when the game is over because surge pricing goes into effect when a lot of people are trying to get a ride at the same time and it's caused by people in the same area requesting rides right then that can be expected before or after the World Series games. But if you are a first time Uber or Lyft user, there's some promo codes you can use to get up to five bucks off when you ride. We're going to post those for you on clicktohouston.com. Michaels is recalling thousands of these battery operated tassel keychains over fire and burn risk. So these are also um, a little mobile charging devices. That's why they have a battery. And mm -hmm. according to the recall, the lithium ion battery in the keychains can overheat. Now, these were sold at Michael's stores nationwide from March of 2018 through this past August. You can return the keychains to any Michaels for a refund. Facebook, it's suing an Israeli surveillance firm over that WhatsApp hack. We told you about this when it happened. Um, it now says it knows who did this. It accuses NSO Group of helping government spies break into phones of roughly 1,400 users across four continents. The alleged hacking targeted diplomats, political figures, journalists, and senior government officials. The surveillance firm has denied the allegations. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Unraveling the layers. Thank you, Amy. Thanks.